Porsche has taken its electric Taycan sedan and given us a major update, but it's also now given us a true halo range shopping model in the form of the Turbo GT. This particular car is also equipped with the Vysac package, so you get a fixed rear spoiler made from carbon fiber. You get a couple of other features inside, namely no rear seats, and I'll show you that in a moment. But really, it's talking about the back of this car. That's why we're starting here, because this thing looks very impressive. It's very in your face in terms of the wing. Some of the new details you'll see has got a new uh, illuminated Porsche logo here in the back. It's got you know, different spoilers. There's a lot of uh, changes to the underbody, which we can't show you, but it's all about helping generate more downforce and improving efficiency because this thing will still do 555 kilometers on a single charge. Charging has also improved and I'll touch on that in a moment. But let's have a look at some of the other features in this new range topper. Other features include bespoke 21 inch alloy wheels and you can see the monster stoppers that are behind that huge carbon ceramic brakes that are available. And also these come wrapped in Pirelli P0 or tire that are specifically designed for the Taycan Turbo GT. There is a couple of other aero differences. You can see on the front here, they've got these extra flaps on the side. These help send air across the front of the wheel. They improve efficiency. They also help generate more than 80 kilograms of downforce on the front. The headlights have also changed and the optional LED matrix ones are now a vast improvement over the ones that preceded it. The last ones had 84 LED elements. The new ones have 32,000 LED elements. That's a really, really significant change. One other thing, if you're a little bit more eagle-eyed, you might notice that the Taycan Turbo GT only has one charge flap. Taycans normally have a charger on each side, only one on this side. It's on the right-hand side, which in the UK and Ireland and other markets would be the driver's side. It's also not electric anymore. Again, it's one of the features designed to save weight in this car. So they've ditched one of the chargers and they've taken away the electric charge flap door. You've got to do it manually, but it's a very small price to pay. Now it is still a practical car, although slightly less in this version. The boot space reduces to 326 liters. It's not as big as before, but it's not too bad. Now, one of the more unusual features of the Vitac package is that, well, there aren't any rear seats in this one. Obviously, if you get a regular Turbo GT, you do get rear seats, but if you want to get the Vitac package, you lose out on this. And instead, you get this very nice carbon fiber cover where the seats would normally be. And obviously, that covers the top of the battery as well. You do have a little bit of extra storage in here, which maybe compensates slightly for the smaller boot. You can open up this cover and there's a little bit of a stowage area in there to put maybe one or two soft bags, but there's not really a whole lot of space back here. Instead, well, this is a performance machine after all, and you can see it in the back of the seats here as well. These have the absolutely gorgeous carbon bucket seats. So let's have a look in the front and see what they're like. Now those seats are gorgeous, but as you can see, uh, it's not the prettiest thing to get in and out of. Nevertheless, once you're inside, these are wonderfully comfortable, very, very supportive. You really feel it right the way down the sides of your legs here in the sides as well. What they're gonna be like over a very long journey, well, obviously they're not gonna be as comfortable as the other options that are available, but they do look fantastic. Elsewhere in the inside the Taycan Turbo GT, well, it's a pretty traditional layout and what you have. This doesn't have the full screen that you have in some of the other new Taycan models where a passenger can have a screen in front. Instead, you just get a blank panel. There is the Vysac badge there. You've got the touch screen central here, all your climate control, charging, everything like that is controlled here. You then have a very detailed infotainment system as well where you can run through all the different chassis setups, suspension setups, even the electric sports sound, all that stuff is done in there. And there's a lot you can do with this car. Obviously you've got the curved display here in front. It's gorgeous. This is one of the nicest digital instrument displays on the market out there. This car doesn't have a head up display, but it doesn't need it because everything in true typical Porsche style is exactly where you want it in your line of sight. The steering wheel is very nice carbon fiber center here, three spoke design. You've got that Alcantara 
suede like material you got two satellite dials here on as well so you got the PASM you got the drive modes which lets you go through the different versions between sport sport plus normal and range um, you also have paddles here as well the right paddle is the attack mode in this particular car in the Vysak it's on one of the satellites in the regular non Vysak car so when you're driving along the attack mode will generate an extra 120 kilowatts of power once you're already on the power you then pull the right pedal and that will give you an extra 10 seconds at 120 boost so yeah pretty impressive uh, you'll see when we get it on track so keep watching you'll see what that uh, looks like out on track but elsewhere everything else you know it's the usual sort of very high quality what we're used to seeing for Porsche it is practical there's a little bit of storage space under here you've got a couple of cup holders there's more storage under there it's all the stuff is, is what you're going to want is here and it's it's very nicely laid out it's not kind of overwhelming in terms of how much stuff is being thrown at you the drive selector is now here as well it's this little toggle switch which is quite nice to use yeah that's what the interior is like but now most important thing we need to do is see what this thing is like out on track now the only real place to experience the Taycan Turbo GT is on a racetrack which is why we're here in Spain to see exactly what this machine will do and it is a phenomenal top trump style electric car okay a standard just as standard it's got 789 horsepower but you then have an overboost function which drives that up further to just over a thousand horsepower propelling this Vysak package Taycan Turbo GT from 0 to 100 in just 2.2 seconds 2.2 seconds absolutely phenomenal it still does 555 kilometers on a single charge okay admittedly you're not going to get that sort of performance or range when you're using all that power it's also got an attack mode which is this right pedal here so as soon as you pull that it gives you another 120 kilowatts of power this thing is just an animal there is no other way to describe this thing for what it does this is still a four-door saloon car you know it's it's kind of mind-boggling what the engineers have been able to do the suspension is the latest evolution of their kind of active ride so it will do slightly unusual things so under heavy braking you can actually feel it squat down at the rear and the first few times it is a little bit kind of well it's a little bit unsettling in a way even though it's actually doing the opposite of that it does give you a bit of a strange sensation i guess in the same way when we first started to experience rear steer in cars but you know i think it's the, sort of the kind of thing that you're going to get used to but of course the real thing is we want to show you exactly what this thing will do and one of the headline figures of this car is this launch control system so it will go from 0 to 100 in just 2.2 seconds and I'm going to show you exactly what that is like right now. So I'm gonna pull up to a stop. We are in the Sport Plus mode. And all you do is you keep your foot fully on the brake, foot fully on the gas. And fucking hell. That's 180, 290, 200 kilometers an hour. This thing. I wasn't lying when I said this thing is an animal. This is just ballistically quick. And when you have your foot in on the gas already, when you pull that right pedal, you really do feel that attack mode kick in. The grip is phenomenal. Unbelievable. I'm trying to maintain my concentration talking to you here but my god this thing is fucking quick of course it's got carbon ceramic brakes and they do really bite in tires have all the grip in the world you do always feel the weight of the car though you can feel that 2200 kilos when you're slowing down but really do notice that attack mode the fact that you have an attack mode in a car like this just tells you everything you need to know 
about what this thing is like. It does stay unbelievably flat through the corners. There's no body roll at all. You just can't feel it. It just sit, stays so flat. The nose goes exactly where you want it to go. Of course, you know, Porsche, when it comes to steering, they absolutely know their stuff. And, well, this thing is just, this really is an exceptional machine. Got a little bit of a slalom section here. And again, this will kind of really showcase just what this thing is like. It just does not roll. This car, you probably might not be able to see it on camera, but it is completely flat. It's almost disconcerting. There's attack mode and this, the digital speedo can barely keep up with the acceleration of this thing. It is absolutely a phenomenal machine. <laughs> There's no other way about it. It is, if I was to use one word, it's just silly. It is absolutely phenomenal at what this thing will do. It absolutely defies physics just in terms of how it corners how it accelerates you don't want to be doing launch control after a big lunch that's absolutely one thing you'll need to know about this but the braking performance the pedal feel that you have you know it is obviously braking but it's obviously regenerating energy at the same time but you have a super consistent feeling from that brake pedal it's a car that gives you a lot of confidence it does move around a little bit in this sport plus mode you can feel it kind of just you know it, it's letting you have a little bit of fun but it's also just keeping things in check but you can just imagine what this thing is like on the roads but even on a track there's not a lot of machines proper sports cars that would be able to keep up with this thing in terms of just how it accelerates out of corners um it is just well it's easily one of the most impressive electric cars and anyone who says electric cars can't be fun well you need to go and drive one of these well what do you say about this car it is exceptional what Porsche has done with this in terms of performance in terms of how it goes on track can only imagine even on the road it's going to be an absolute animal this is a proper halo porsche car phenomenal just is the only word to describe what this thing can do if you want to know more about it head over to our website completecar.ie you'll find it linked in the description below and it's a great resource for finding your next new car we have a detailed review of this and indeed all of its rivals in the meantime we'd love to know what you think about the car so head over to the comment section below Tell us what you think because we'd love to hear your feedback. And as ever, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.